This is Huawei News. I'm Susie. Today, Huawei released its 2020 annual report. Despite a U.S. sanction, the company was able to meet its business expectations. Huawei's revenue reached 891.4 billion RMB, representing a year-on-year -year growth of 3.8%, and its net profit was 64.6 billion RMB. And according to a report, the company's carrier business worked with carriers worldwide on over 3,000 5G innovation projects, covering more than 20 industries, including coal mining, steel, ports, and manufacturing. And the annual revenue from Huawei's carrier business totaled 302.6 billion RMB, a year-on-year -year increase of 0.2%. And last year, Huawei's enterprise business announced a new open technological architecture called Intelligent Trains. And the annual revenue from this business segment rose by 23% to 100.3 billion RMB in 2020. Last but not least, despite huge external pressure, Huawei's consumer business continued to develop its OnePlus 8 Plus and seamless AI live strategy as well as the Harmony OS and HMS ecosystems. This business generated 482.9 billion RMB in annual revenue, up 3.3% over 2019. During the press conference, Huawei also clarified two big myths that the outside always wanted to know. Number one, is Huawei going to make cars? Since Huawei established its Intelligent Automotive Solution BU about two years ago, everyone has been wondering about, will Huawei enter the automotive industry? This time, Huawei made it clear that it is not making cars, but are helping current automobile companies make better cars. Nowadays, vehicles are using new technologies such as AI, 5G, alternative fuels, and cloud services to become smarter. The role of Huawei in this is to leverage its ICT expertise to become a supplier of these smart components for cars, such as the computing platforms and operating systems for intelligent driving, intelligent cockpit, and intelligent vehicle control. Take autonomous driving as an example. Huawei's high cars advanced autopilot is now able to provide a full-stack solution for Level 2 Plus to Level 4 autopilot through leading sensors, central supercomputing, and algorithms. Also, with over 30-year R&D experience in power electronics, Huawei offers a full range of 800-volt fast charging solutions to provide a range of 200 kilometers in 10 minutes. It makes charging better so much. Therefore, instead of entering a new domain, Huawei's strategy is to focus on its main channel, do what it does the best, and succeed with its partners. Number two, is Harmony OS just a substitute for Android? This has been one of the biggest topics since Huawei launched its own operating system, Harmony OS. To put things simply, Harmony OS is not just for phones. It's about redefining the concept of devices. Instead of working for smartphones only, it is building a OnePlus 8 Plus N all-scenario ecosystem. This means Harmony OS can make smart life ubiquitous by connecting what we use every day, like smartphones, tablets, smart screens, smart cockpits, smart wearables, and IoT devices. One example is a popular home appliance brand, Meidi, which recently started using Harmony to make a variety of its kitchen appliances smarter. Now you can become a master chef instantly with a steaming and baking oven that uses Harmony OS. So just tap the oven with your Huawei phone, choose from tons of recipes, and start cooking with one touch. And that's all set. The head of Huawei's Harmony OS, Wang Chenlu, estimates that there will be more than 300 million smart devices using Harmony OS this year. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.